And it's just a choice in the moment to come from a place of acceptance versus resentment. Resentment, pain, fire, anxiety, distraught, depression, missing out, acceptance, abundance, fun, growth, communication, lessons, good times, heartache, but good heartache. Think about it. Today's video, we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So we have a question here on Tumblr. Uh, how do you let go of resentment? This one's about resentment. How do you let go of resentment such as when an ex did you wrong and lied to you that they manipulated you in a toxic way? Uh, we have a question there. Um, so the quick, so resentment, all right, let's get serious now. Uh, resentment is what destroys so many people's joy in the moment. You think about it, you, people have an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend or ex-boss or ex this, ex that, whatever, ex-friend or, and they have this, they see that person, they see them on social media, especially social media. I mean, you, you, people show up in, in your feed or whatever, or the, oh, you're friends with that person. Look, resentment, resentment, it's a negative, draining life force fucking energy which just robs you of life force it robs you of gratitude of positive focus etc you see that person you're like, I resent that person that person did that to me you know I feel hurt and then hurt people hurt people you know it's it's like so how to get out of that state of resentment um, I can talk from personal experience this is not something I read from an Eckhart Tolle book even though I do recommend a lot of his stuff and David Date I've lived thousands of hours in the last 2005 is when I got my first mp3 player uh, so yeah 12 years of listening to stuff almost daily you know motivational stuff inspirational stuff just mindset stuff so all those years listen to it and I can add my personal experience into it that resentment is definitely something you want to learn how to just detach from and turn resentment transmutate it into acceptance if someone does something to you it's rarely about you and it's more about them and it's not about that they're bad people, it's just that how they respond. Let's say you've got a duck, all right? You've got a little duck, and you need that duck to fly like an eagle, you know? And you're like, duck, motherfucking fly like the eagle. Get up real high and go far and tell me what's, tell me what's up the road. And the duck's like, I'm a duck now, swim. I paddle around. And you're like, fucking hell, you're fucking useless. I've helped you out, duck, now you can't fly for me? And let's say you've got an eagle. And you're like, fucking eagle, are you good, man? The duck, he couldn't, sw he couldn't, you know, he couldn't fucking fly. I want you to fly and tell me what's up ahead. So the eagle does it before he comes back. And then you drop your iPhone in the fucking lake. And you're like, eagle, quick, get it. Get, get my fucking iPhone, man. You know, and it's like, oh, dude, I can't swim, I'll drown. I'm an eagle, I fly, I don't swim. And then you think, oh, fuck, where's duck? Where's duck gone? You know? And the duck's not coming back because you burnt the bridge with duck. So we have all these things, we expect people resentment comes from expectations all, pretty much all your disappointments in life are going to come from expectations you had about how the situation should be today it should be sunny I'm at the beach I want to get a tan in my bikini then now it's raining fuck that my day's ruined you had an expectation it didn't get met now you feel disappointment you have an expectation about a person I, I'm going to give, do this for you I'm going to be nice to you blah 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 I'm going to give you good times whatever time, attention, focus, discipline love, affection exercise whatever abundance you know and then they turn around and do something. And you're like, oh my God, how dare you do that? You had an expectation of how someone should behave. The eagle or the duck or the pigeon, you know? Like, pigeons can't peel mangoes like toucans can. So you got to have expectations of people realistically. You know, If you have expectations of people, then realistically, you're going to get burned at some point. So how to go overcome resentment is understand what is resentment. Resentment is disappointment. You had disappointment in someone because you had an expectation of how they should behave. It, we all know this, don't we? This is, oh yeah, this makes sense, Harley. But what we do is we know this, but we don't do what we know. And then so someone behaves in a certain way, and then we're just like, boom. I mean, you've seen me. You've seen me get triggered on social media. I put it all out there. I put it all out there. Some of the stuff I'm definitely not proud of. Some of the stuff is very cringe and I regret. But I keep it out there because I want people to learn from my mistakes. And so you can have resentment. Let's say this person's in a relationship. It seems to be like they've got to, you know, 
they've got some resentment towards an ex-partner, which is easy to do because you got in a relationship because you had love, you had feelings, you had emotion, you had connection, and then at some point those expectations were no longer met and things fizzled out. They Someone ditched you, you ditched them. There was like a breakdown in the communication, breakdown in relationship. The first step of breakdown in a relationship is a breakdown in communication. So then that happened and then the resentment starts to grow in because the expectations are no longer being met and you start to feel pain, you feel jealousy or you feel anger or you feel resentment. You know, like, mm, and you just, and then you're like, Ugh. and then you get on social media or whatever. I mean, you look at me and my last, you know, Banana Girl, big split up public, Daily Mail online, local newspaper, messy as fuck. We're fighting each other online, just going crazy. It was just, you know, both had two headstrong people not going to back down. And we just destroyed really good things by just our headstrongness. So by our resentment, because we're like, you should have treated me this way. I should have treated that way. You know, things like that. So we had this mutual resentment and just fueled this like fucking nuclear fucking online warfare. So you can learn from my mistakes and diffuse resentment by just accepting people for how they are you know you diffuse resentment with acceptance that's not the anti-venom that's not the neutralizer put acceptance in there okay I've had expectations this person was going to be like this they weren't for whatever reasons doesn't make them bad people just people are people man everyone's fucking human at the end of the day they didn't meet your expectations for whatever reason oh cause they were a fucking cunt cause he was a bitch he was a fucking asshole she was a pl-. no 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 Whatever reason, it just didn't get met. And you can stay in your little, like, they're this, they're narcissists, they're this, they're this, whatever. But it's not going to change the fact that you still feel pain. Yeah. And the only way for you to get out of that state of pain is to have acceptance. <sighs> breathe it in, breathe it out. Just let it go. The universe is a fucking big place. The planet's going to spin tomorrow, whether you have anger or happiness or whatever towards someone. So you might as well have happiness or an acceptance. So we have this resentment that we're going to switch out for acceptance so we just going to accept people uh, people you know like it's a bit like if i have my phone and i'm like the phone should always work properly and if it crashes or runs out of battery do you throw it against the wall phone you didn't you didn't meet my expectations phone fuck you that's no way to do it you just plug the phone in you understand it's not waterproof or whatever you have acceptance you got to treat the phone in a certain way you, you got to have a screen on you got to have a cover if you drop it on the ground it might break you can't drop your phone and go oh, it broke you phone your shit that's just it's an unrealistic expectation. So have realistic, realistic expectations on people, but understand that people are people. Ducks are ducks, eagles are eagles, and pigeons are pigeons. And if we run around life expecting a, a duck to be like an eagle, or an eagle to be like a duck or a pigeon, then we're gonna have unrealistic expectations of people. And that's gonna get a lot of pain, that's gonna turn into resentment. Yeah. So just accept people where they're at. Doesn't mean you have to be your boyfriend, or your girlfriend, or your husband, or whatever, or your kids. I mean, you can't exactly send your kids back for warranty. <laughs> but so, accept them for that. Try and be a better inspiration. Say you're a parent, you want to get your kids on track, then you just have to be inspirational. You have to be inspiration. They may or may not take that. You know? They will test you. You're raising kids raises us, so they will test the fuck out of you. So if you don't collapse and you stay present, I do other videos about that. But you know, like you should have the acceptance. But when you have that resentment, oh my, I raised those kids and these kids did this to me. That's not going to be any fun for you. Just have acceptance, you know. Okay, that this turned out this way. I could have done that better. Lesson learned. Next, having that next mentality. So the to wrap it up, if you have that level of resentment, then it is no way to live. It's no way to live, you know. And again, we live in this social media age where it's really like you have maybe let's say you have a falling out with someone, you know, and now they're friends of your ex or you're friends of your new boyfriend or they they're trying to crack on to someone or like they. It's so easy to trigger resentment, isn't it, in social media? Oh, you're in their Facebook group. You're not in my Facebook group. You like their post. You didn't like my post. You know, and so it's like that level of resentment can just be like triggered as soon as you go on this, on this little thing, the social media world. You can just be just scrolling through and like slut, slut, asshole, fucking player, all this shit in your head, just all these things, you know? They used to be cool. Now you're just a fuck boy. You used to be cool. Now you're just a social climber, you know? And then we get on social media and that's the thoughts in our head, isn't it? So social media is a fucking incredibly powerful force if we see it with acceptance and see it for the tool it is to contribute, to share, create community change, social change. Most people, though, get on social media and they're like, oh, you didn't like my post, you like their post, what's going on there? And there's this resentment, this is like resentment media. Uh, I live on social media. It's been my job for the last decade, literally. So I understand the, the nuances of it all. 
And I can just tell people, man, you really got to practice having that coming from a place in your heart of acceptance versus resentment and understand it's not about you. It's rarely ever about us. It's re- people see the world in different ways. Some people see this. This is called a queenie. It's not even actually a mango. It's from the mango family. I see this. I've never had it before. My friend Clint gave it to me. Make my nose itch. But it smells really interesting. It smells really powerful. So this for some people is like, oh, it's a queenie. I know how to make the food out of that. For me, I'm like, this is, I'm a pretty experienced fruit and I don't know. I've never had this before. I have to make a phone call, find out what the deal is. I don't understand this fruit. For some people, it's like, it's green. Chuck it in the bin. For some people, it's, like, oh, it's got fruit. It's got fructose in it. It's sugar. It feeds cancer. It's going to make you obese. Get it, get it away. Get it away. So everyone has different perceptions of what something is, a person or a situation or whatever. So if you base your happiness on the fact that everyone has to agree with you or see the world through your eyes, you're going to set yourself up for a lot of fucking resentment because your expectations are never, ever going to be fucking met 100%. So before you have resentment to someone, before you feel disappointed or hurt or burnt, ask yourself, is this about me? And the answer is pretty much no, it's not about you. It's about the way other people see the reality. It's their, their reality is different to your reality. We may share similar realities, but no one's reality is always 100% the same all the fucking time. You might be coming to my reality. I'm going to get carved up. I'm going to go to Adelaide on a train. I'm here in January. I'm getting fit. I'm getting lean. I'm getting tan. I'm having the best time ever. And that, that's good for January. And then you go back to you know, Spain or you go back to Gold Coast or Brisbane or Perth or Sydney, wherever you come from, and then you're back into that reality. You know? And then you're like, oh, is on it. Cool. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. I used to in the past, but I understand now people in different realities. So for them to be in your reality all the time, every single day, every single minute, and agree with everything you do, that's really an unrealistic expectation. It's a ludicrously grandiose expectation, but it's what most people have. And that's why we have so much pain in today's society. People are doing, getting just fucking the alcohol abuse in the, the young crew these days, the 20, 15 to 25 year old, the alcohol, the drug abuse, people are just trying to escape Valium, fucking all these sorts of shit, man. It's crazy because people have got these so many expectations not being met. The resentment just through the fucking roof, seven watts per kilo resentment level. And people just go on these things to numb that reality. You know, pop on all these pills and drinks just to numb the reality. So avoid the resentment, switch it out for acceptance. And you just, it's just like your whole life, it just changes, transforms like that. And you'll be triggered since you get on social media. You'll be little triggers. It'll be triggers for you. Oh, you like that person you support. Just chill, man. It sounds all spiritual woo woo bullshit, but it's totally fucking true. And you can trust me on that. I don't know many people who had the experience that I've had and on, on social media, publicly breakups, meltdowns, fights. You've seen it all, man. You've fucking seen all my shit on fucking the internet. You know, people make documentaries about me. And <laughs> they're, they're some of my greatest teachers, really. At the start, there was a lot of resentment. How do you do this? But it's just shown me. It's like, okay, you've shown me who was a friend, who was a social climber, who was a friend, who was just a user. And it doesn't make these other, all those people bad people, but it makes me realize who I want to put my energy into. So you can see out of resentment, or you can see the situation for what it is. Where's the gift here? What can I learn from this moment? Yeah. What can you learn from it? Oh, this person's fucking shit. Everyone's fucked. Guys are fucked. Women are fucked. Yeah, that's, you can have that fucking mentality. Go and hit the fucking piss. Go and hit the pills. And you know what? In 10 years' time, 20 years' time, you'll still be in that fucking same dead-end street doing this, doing laps with your fucking mates with it. Yeah, women are fucked. All men are fucked. Yeah, yeah. Give me another drink. Give me another pill. You know? That path never ends. It's just like a fucking hamster wheel. Infinity. That's the infinity path. To get off that fucking infinity craziness, this place resentment for acceptance. So to recap, it's not about you. It's not about you. It's about how people see things in life. Their, how they were raised by their parents. Maybe your dad didn't give you the love you wanted. Maybe your mum abused you or whatever. You know, there's, there's people do things because that's maybe that's what they've grown up with. That's their religion, their tradition, their belief system. Maybe they were on drugs, stuff like that. Maybe they're just undercarbed as fuck, dehydrated as fuck in psychosis. Don't take it too personally. Don't even take it personally. You just gotta, otherwise, you're going to have that resentment. And if when you can avoid taking things personally, it's so fucking hard. It's so fucking hard, man. I mean, again, look at me. You know, <laughs> it's fucking really hard sometimes. But if you do it and you hold that and you come from a place of congruency where you really fucking don't hold it personally, 
that's when life really fucking starts to begin. So avoid taking things personally. Switch out resentment for acceptance. Understand your parents. A lot of my viewers are, you know, younger, in their twenties, teens even, and that they're living at home, or maybe moving out of home, or moved out of home, or whatever. They come from all different paths, and they have this resentment towards their parents. Don't fucking have that, man. Your parents had a kid. They got pregnant. They went out club. What? This has happened. You happened. All right. You happened. That's the fucking only miracle you need to worry about. Whatever else is happening on there, that's just like the wrapper. You know, the wrapper doesn't matter. This is the sugar. It's in me now. You're here. You've been. You're there. You're alive. Don't worry about the wrapper. Chuck it in the recycling bin down here. Don't hold on to that wrapper on your forehead. This is my wrapper. This is what happened to me as a kid. Like, look at me. This is. You know, no, 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 get the wrapper, all the bullshit and drama, whatever, put it in the recycling bin. You find another wrapper, put it in the recycling bin and just be focused on being you, creating a new you versus wearing this fucking wrap on your forehead. Oh, I need to see a psychiatrist, I need to see... No, 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 no. Everyone's got their fucking wrappers. You can wear them on your fucking thing. You can put your wrappers over your face. You can stuff your fucking wrapper up your fucking nose. You can restrict your breathing. Look at me, I've got a fucking wrapper up my nose, you know. When I was a kid, this is what my parents did to me. You know, look, give me attention. Give me, you know, give me a lot. Just fuck it all off, man. Seriously. The people go through that life. They, they have this victim yeah. identity because they're scared of being who they really are. Their true self. They're scared of that. They're scared of rejection or stuff like that. So people go through this world doing crazy shit. And when you understand that, you can say, it's not about me. It's about them. Not because they're bad people, but just because they're in that reaction. They're in that reaction world. Even that reaction reality. So before you lose your shit, if you're going to lose your shit, make sure you're getting paid for it. Make sure it's some troll factor. But before you lose your shit and degrade your quality of life or those around you, think, is this really matter? The only real matter to this is the matter I'm putting to it, the meaning I'm putting to it. You know? The only things that have any real meaning are the things we put meaning to. Yeah. This one. I put meaning to it. I'm like curious, what's this going to taste like? For some people, they're like, get it out of the house, chuck it, get it out, don't put it in the garden, put it in the compost bin. No, don't put it in the compost bin again, flies and maggots, put it in the, just take it away, burn it. Take it to the fucking ho the hospital and put it in the fucking crem crematory. Crematory, burn this motherfucker, kill it with fire. Everyone has their own reality. Spiders are a good example. I'm picking, I'll walk up with a spider in my mouth. And some people are like, oh, fucking awesome. Some people are like, unsubscribe, never watching you ever again, fuck you, crazy. And so can you imagine if, like, I reacted to everything, if I read all the comments or the dislikes or the likes or turn likes or comments off or whatever because I'm scared what people think about me, that's no way to fucking live. <laughs> that's no way to live at all. So the way to live is just give your gift to the world, come from a place with an open heart where you're just here to give every day what you're here for. You most people don't know what the fuck that is. And I'll tell you what, what it isn't is just not to come from a place of resentment. It's come from a place of acceptance and contribution, making the world and your community, just your reality, better for you around you with, it, with the goal of making it better for other people around you as well. So your goal in life isn't to be resentful and, and the, it's, resentment's a great teacher though because it'll teach you how much wasted time you can do. And I mean, if I look back at the time I used to waste, you know, reacting and oh my God, I'm not never going to get that back. You can make more money, you can make more social media channels, you can make more friends or whatever. You can get more likes, whatever, but you can't get back time wasted on resentment. You can't get that back at all. So really, it's uh, you know life's an amazing thing, and, I, and as I'm 40 now, I'm making so many mistakes. But every time I make a mistake, I'm like, how can I learn from this? You know, if I crash my bike, I don't go, oh, I fucking crash my bike. It's like, why did I crash? Why did I crash? And I wasn't paying attention. I was going too fast. There was a gum nut. There was a koala. You know, and just just learn from mistakes versus go. Why do I do the same shit again? Ask better questions, you'll get better answers, as Tony Robbins says. There you go. You got any questions down below? Hit us up. Resentment. <laughs> Trade it in. We update our phones all the fucking time. Update the resentment app. Update it to acceptance. And when you do that, the universe will t test you. Oh, really? You want to be accepting now? Really? Okay. This is gonna happen. Oh you, oh, you pass that one? Here you go. Have another challenge. So when you're serious about stuff, the universe will give you, give you challenges. But the universe only gives you what you can handle. 